Hello, beautiful and wonderful people, and welcome back to yet another Ultimate Skyrim Dead is Dead playthrough episode. And let me tell you guys something. I have been hard at work doing many off-screen things, such as alchemy, getting levels, nothing combat related, but I have reached level 17. I believe level 18 means that we will begin spawning dragons randomly throughout the world. Now, that means uh, we need to be a bit more careful, but we're not quite at level 18. And I have invested the two levels into speech. And I've invested this one, merchant, so I can sell all my goods to any shops, not just specialized shops. And I can invest 500 gold into those shops. Well, really any shop. And sell prices increase by 15%. Also, I took silver tongue. And this may seem like a weird choice to take. You know, I think that there are quite a few other kind of skills that I could have taken instead of silver tongue. But the real reason is I'm gonna lead this into us eventually taking leadership once we hit 75 speech. So that way we can really improve our followers and you can just read through all of this. It gives a lot of great things for followers and Larry doesn't want followers to be lost anymore. And I don't want followers to be lost anymore. You know, whether it be Uthgird or Janessa or whoever we decide to take in the future, I don't want another catastrophe to happen like at Rebel's Cairn. And these guys are all here partying because it is the 27th of last seed, which I believe it's uh, harvest, last harvest or something like that. But guys, let me just talk you through uh, what we're going to be doing today. I figured that we could get on with this quest, the Nettlebane from Orth Orphan Rock. And along with that, I need to go and kill a giant again. I've got a couple of grand souls, but I only was able to get one soul trap scroll. Uh, I did get my hands on a bunch of stuff because I was doing a bunch of alchemy, so I had plenty of gold to spend. So I've got a lot of cool scrolls. I've outfitted myself with a plethora of different potions and fortify potions, what have you. Nothing's changed in terms of our armor. I'm going to be taking the Necklace of Fury with us. I might actually be wearing that over the Amulet of Kenrith from here on out. I haven't really decided yet. But anyways, enough of me blabbering. Let's go ahead and get today's episode started. Oh, uh, no. I'll have to deal with this guy later. But anyways, I, I got some other things to deal with other than talking to this fellow. Some of you may know who it is. Yeah, Sam. All right, let's let's go do the things we planned on instead of talking to him for right now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention I ended up making quite a large purchase, seventy five hundred gold, and you're about to see why. I took the suggestion of someone in one of the comments as one of the goals for Larry, and I invested in none other than a horse. Now in Ultimate Skyrim, or my version of Ultimate Skyrim, this bad boy was 7,500 gold. So it's not cheap. It's definitely not something that I'm gonna look forward to using anytime soon, just cause I don't want to lose her. So I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can. I even outfitted, uh, I think her name is Queen Alfsiger but we're gonna call her Allie for short. That's what uh, that guy, the guy who sold it to me, that's what he said that they call her. And I'm gonna try to keep her as safe as possible. Like I said, I bought this nice little saddle. It gives her armor rating. And I'm gonna try to, because I have a horse, I'm gonna try to not use the carriage system as much as possible and ride to places whenever I see fit. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you do see me just randomly riding on a horse, I wanted to explain it. And we're, I think I'm just gonna head straight over to Orphan Rock at this point. Um, yeah, not too much else besides that. Uh, I was just praying. Uh, I just got a pop-up message that I had uh, not meditated in a while and I was just popping by Helgen and normally I don't record everything because that would take up way too much uh, memory. And so I figured, ah, I don't need to record this. This is just some bandits. 
and I meditated and I guess we got 100% so I don't know what that means but a cool message popped up. What does that mean? Summon Kinnereth Emissary. Oh my god, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, we did lose Voice of the Sky. Uh, so obviously we have been playing for more than 24 hours IRL time. You are kind of ugly. That green, I'm not digging. So what, are you like a horse? Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. This is stupid. I feel like I'm gonna die like this. Oh my god. What is this? Okay. Does he not take fall damage? Okay, I don't like this. I feel so unsafe. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, that's something to keep in mind, I guess. If I ever want to just quickly, quickly travel from one place to another. But I might just stick with Ally for the time being. But that's... that's a, Man, that's pretty interesting. Alright. Well, favor with Kinnereth, 100%. Okay, I think we're in the right place. Yes, we are. Uh, did you have fire? I didn't expect these people to start attacking me. I didn't even get to use my soups and stews. Kind of anticlimactic, but okay. Alright, let's go ahead. I just want to pop a beef stew for this. And shouldn't need fortified armor. So we'll pop a frost and this guy. Alright, let's go. I should be fine on fire resistance with my earrings and boots. I'm not even worried about stealthing. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, who else is here? It's so crazy. Like, there's a whole storm cloak encampment, like, right next to us. And yet, this still, this place still exists with the hag and all that. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. I've got fire resistance. I'm actually going to chug one of these. All right, screw this. Well, if I can't shoot him... And I'll always resort to the old trusty. Alright. I think that's it for this location. There's nothing really here. Alright, you guys can watch me struggle real quick. Uh, why am I so bad at lockpicking? <sighs> oh, me monkey. Come on. I'm not, I'm not, nope. I give up. All right, cool. Well, I guess we could head straight back to Whiterun, but I might uh, just take a peek at some of the locations around here, see if there's anything that we should be doing or can do really. Alright, I just finished writing that little saber cat thing, and uh, FYI, it can die from falling. Uh, luckily, I didn't fall from too high of a distance. I, I only took like maybe a smidge of health, but that's... it's fast, man. That's... it's scary, too. Uh, but I am here at a giant location, and hopefully... 
we will be able to get another filled soul gem. Okay, let's see here. Throw out that. Wham, bam, balam. Okay, let's do this. Nope. Stop it. Oh, man. I tell you, fighting giants is the most sketchy thing ever. Right, take the toes. Take that guy. Oh, you know what? I forgot to go harvest all those trolls at the end of last episode. Shit, dude. I may need to go back and do that. Uh, Alchemist, what do you have? not even gonna make you guys suffer it's not even worth it I think there's someone over here that's dead hang on maybe I'm wrong and I'm just a crazy person yeah right here isn't there normally like I don't know how this guy died but there's normally like a helmet or something over here Maybe it rolled away. Oh, wait. Yeah, hide helmet of conjuring. Cool. Sweet. All right, well, we got our soul gem. I might actually head over to Windhelm just so that way I can drop off a couple of items uh, before making my way back to Whiterun. Also, I kind of want to stop in with the court wizard over there, see if he has any soul trap scrolls. That would be useful and beneficial. Are those? I see a fire over there. Hang on. I don't think this location should be populated just yet. Or is it? Nope, it's not. All right. Uh, this brings back memories. It truly does. Anywho, let's uh, head on over to Windhelm. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, this is Silverhand. Fuck. I didn't think Silverhand were going to be here yet. Uh, fuck it. Why not? We'll do it. Do I have... I did not bring enough of these. You won't live to see tomorrow. Oh, this is going to be rough. We got this, though. I I have potions and stuff. I made shit just in case we have these situations. Where did you go? 
Okay. Alright, we got this. We got this. So far, we got this. I don't know if it's such a good idea to go inside, though. I'm pretty sure this is quest related. Okay. Why not? You know? We did, we did fairly well in that little combat that we just did, so I got a little confidence booster. Forgive me if I don't speak a lot uh, during this process. I'm going to be trying to focus as best as I can about not dying. This is the end for you. Okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. What's really worrying me is the very end portion of this. When you're doing the quest line, I know that there are very high level Silverhand in there who have 
uh, particular s skills that they're given. And doing the solo is kind of scary without having like Farkas or anyone with me. Have the high ground, Anakin. Don't try it. Nice, 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 nice. We did it. All right. Uh. Whew. That was really sketchy, but. proud of us for that. I really am. It wasn't, like, the worst thing possible. It's just really being smart about the combat, and I think we did fairly well in that regard. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, I forgot about all these beautiful scrolls I have. I could have used those. All right, cool. Let's head to Windhelm and then Whiterun to turn in Nettlebane. Okie dokie. We've just finished looting through all of Gallows Rock. And a couple key things to show you guys, I guess. Uh, I did get a nice little superlative potion. Uh, we're almost overweight, actually. And I don't think we found anything else, to be honest. Uh, oh yeah, this this weapon, Stonemaker. It's supposed to contain the spell uh, Mage Armor Rank 2, but evidently I can't cast it. I feel like I just need, like, super high Magicka, maybe, to cast it. I haven't had any luck with any of the Spell Sword weapons, but it is 203 damage, so it is um, technically higher than our Silver Great Sword. Actually, no, it's not. But still, it's a really cool weapon. I might use it. I don't know. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and soup stew, make everything refreshed, just because there is a vampire location right in front of us. And I feel like we might have a few more things this time to deal with some vampires. Um, you know, last time, vampires, we did not have the best luck, so I'm hoping that this time will be a different story. One moment. Excuse me. Can you guys please go away? Oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay, let's just dismount here. All right, we will deal with that later. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fortify all the things. And we're gonna be running in screaming. I got 60 seconds. Level 38. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, baby. These guys were a walk in the park compared to the last guy. Let's see, you got anything cool on you? A couple of interesting things. I'll have to do a little bit of inventory management. Oh. That's a nifty ring. I'll unlock that later. I'll skip through these chests, just so that way you guys, one, don't have to watch me lockpick them, but two, they 99% of the time will not have anything good inside of them. It's really these ones that are where the good money comes from. Oh my, they had a Vigilant of Stendar. Okay. Ooh hoo hoo. Ooh hoo hoo. Um. I'll consider switching out some of my stuff for that, but let's go ahead and open up this guy. And we get a gold ring. That's pretty good. Uh, these are kind of worthless. That's decent. 1300 gold's really good. Oh, nice. Okay, this is a really good necklace. Renders me immune to most paralysis effects. I like that. Okay. Not too bad. Loot. Alright, sweet. Well, barring anything else pops up, I will probably... Yeah, I'm just going to head back to uh, Whiterun after stopping in Windhelm, as I said before. And I might just head over to the follow-up location. What is that? I'll head up to the follow location for the Blessings of Nature quest line, which it's somewhere close by to here, actually. It's somewhere in East March, like right around this area. So I might just pick it up back over there. But I kind of want to see what this... Oh, that's pretty neat. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to keep looting through this and get a move on. All righty. We just arrived in Darkwater Crossing. It's very dark because it's super early in the morning. And we actually have Maurice J J uh, Jondrell? Jondrell? What a confusing name. Anyways, he's actually here with us. I've had issues in the past where he wouldn't actually follow me to the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. And because of that, I couldn't do the passive sort of option where you don't have to take the sap from the Elder Gleam and instead you get a sapling. So... Uh... Fuck. Uh, yeah, there's a dragon here. I really... I don't know if I want to fuck with dragons right now, I'll be honest. Like, it'd be cool to take on the challenge. We've been doing some challenging things recently, but I don't know if a dragon is something that I really want to sink my claws into at this very moment. Primarily just because, I mean, we just unlocked dragons. I'd like to do a bit more content before I just get, you know, my face pushed in by a dragon. And... I probably realistically need some, like, just flat magic resist instead of just a uh, very specific resistance. Like, right now we have specifically resist fire enchantments, where magic resist kind of covers that whole plethora of different spells that the dragons are capable of using. So don't expect the dragon content to be coming in anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just uh, bing bang boom knock this quest out and we'll get back to Whiterun as soon as we're done. Uh, Alright, show me how you communicate with Kinnerith. Because it's not like I am, you know... Oh, look at that, I have a light the above me. You don't have a light above you, buddy. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal. It will good luck on your travels. You see, now why? The Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Yeah, Kinnereth's winds. Whatever. I should have been able to do this on my own. I shouldn't have needed his ass. 
to get this Elder Gleam sapling. Uh, there is one cool thing about this place I remember. It's this little chest back here. Gilder Green Heavy Aegis. That's pretty neat. If we ever get a follower that needs a shield. Uh, Restorer. Uh, I'm having a difficult time getting these spells from the Spell Sword mod to work still. I, I really truly believe there's just something to do with my Magicka. I don't know if I'm actually able to cast them because of that reason. And as always, a shitty chest. All right, cool. Uh, this quest is basically almost done. I don't know if I'll record me returning the sapling back. Uh, just for your guys, FYI, from a roleplay perspective, I've been pondering the idea that Larry would at this point sort of start to consider going back to the companions and maybe even thinking about the whole beast blood and becoming a werewolf only for the sake of only for the sake of us fighting vampires and feeling so weak compared to those vampires as well as you know we see dragons are around now and there's a lot of other creepy crawlies that go bump in the night that Larry has read about that he knows that he's going to need to be a lot stronger to face and maybe maybe all the things that Larry has seen and done and the friend he has lost along the way maybe just maybe that pushes him to go back to the companions and reconsider uh maybe not just reconsider following Kennerith but you know possibly even leading to following someone like a Daedric deity. I'm not saying for a fact, but it's definitely a possibility and I'm pondering the idea. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to get out of here without getting uh, eaten alive as a dragon snack for breakfast and make my way back to Whiterun. Well, this is definitely an interesting location. You know, I think Larry, he's been kind of fascinated with the undead. Not only because we've had some issues with them in the past, but just the overall workings of how they are in this world. And he'd obviously recognize this as a Nordic tomb. And the better question is... How would Larry react to this man? Ah! Oh, my kind, you startled me. There's a necromancer around here. So watch yourself. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. I think, I feel like Larry would really, he'd empathize with Golder. Mainly because, you know, when Eric, when Eric fell in Rebel's Cairn, we couldn't f even find his body, whether that be a game thing, but I'm just turning it into an RP thing. And whatever those Draugr did with his body, it really hits home with Larry. So yeah, I, I think Larry would definitely help in this case. Val's Varen. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him. And he has finally gone off the deep end. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. All right, you didn't My need to get all racist there, Golder. But she hasn't come out yet, and I don't think I can take him by myself. Okay, yeah, let's let's do it. Great. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. Now, from what I can recall, this place is uh, fairly easy until you get to the end portion of it. So I probably just skip forward on the recording for you guys cut out a lot of the boring bits she said that the bear would show the way all right we should be at the final part here i'm pretty sure all right let's prepare but we'd better keep going i want fortify health and i'll save that let's do a fire and frost
Oh, damn it. Man, I cut through these little guys like butter. Okay, I think this door should lead to the main burial chamber where Valus is holed up. Let's get in there and put an end to this. Hell yeah, let's do it. You and me, man. Is that him? Where's the necromancer? Oh, that works. Okay. Line it up. No. Nice. Please, take this, and leave me to see to Antagna and my other family members. Nice! Alright! Uh, let's go check what Val's had on him. I might actually- ooh, blister wart. I love these. These are like one of my favorite mushrooms. Val's had... Not a whole lot. Hello, friend. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I I could take him as a follower, but like I said, I'm not taking any more followers until I get to level 75 in my speech. That way, I really want to feel confident that my followers 
are more safe. All right. And chest. Oh, okay. Not the best of loot, but I've definitely seen worse. Now these little things right here, uh, they are related to the spell research mod, which I'm not really going to be utilizing uh, with this character. But yeah. Galder, until we meet again, be safe out there, friend. And let's head back to Whiterun. And here we are in the Temple of Kinnereth. Hello, Danica. Do you have the Elder Green sap? Well, I've got a sapling. But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Green. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? It's a very Larry thing to say. Yeah, that's not really my problem. You're right, it's mine. I may not live to see this little one grow into a new Gilder Green, but I can be remembered as the woman who planted it. I thank you, and may Kinnareth's soft rains fall before you. Oh, sweet. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. Uh, yeah, I'll buy some restoration training, actually. I forgot that I can do that after this quest line. That solves so many issues. Perfect. Grace of Kinneret be with you. Okay. And I have given it a bit more thought, and I think we will continue with the companion's quest line. We are very I think we're pretty close to getting Wait, where's speech at? Kinda curious. I've probably passed it already. Yeah, so we got another 21 levels before we can take this perk, Leadership. So, I don't know, maybe maybe I do some more alchemy to bump that number up for speech after selling off a few things. But uh, I'm definitely going to start doing the Companions quest line. I mean, I did have fun uh, doing the Silver Drift layer. And after some time, you know, Larry spent with, you know, either Farkas, Vilkas, or any of the other companions who join me, maybe he sees the human side to them and he yearns that power that they have over a longer period of time. And maybe Kenrith isn't someone that we ultimately stick with. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, um, you know, don't feel obligated to like and subscribe, but if you haven't done so, it'd be greatly appreciated. But uh, take care, everyone. I love you all. Stay safe. And until next time, bye.